in today's video we are going to cover the fastest solo build to take down seven star inferno this event is running for its final time as of recording this video from the 11th till the 13th of October. And with today's Pokemon build, you are not only going to be able to beat Infernape in record time, but have one of the best methods for farming Herba Mystica that we've ever had in game. Now, there is a little bit of setup involved in this strategy, but if you're planning on farming these raids over the weekend, this initial time investment will be more than worth it. So the build that we're featuring in today's video is again Como O, slightly different from the previous Como O set, but this one is going to have the same fighting terror typing. It is going to have the held item of the Life Orb, going to be level 100 and also hyper trained. The move set is going to be Screech, Belly Drum, Drain Punch, and Close Combat. And the most important thing, the ability, is going to be that bulletproof. It is going to give you an immunity to Aura Sphere. The EV spread is pretty straightforward. It is going to be 252 EVs in HP and 252 EVs in attack with the remainder put in defense and an adamant nature. So that is the comma or the build is down in the description below if you want to check it out after the video. So to execute the five turn solo strategy, there is a little bit of setup needed. But once you've done it, you've done it once. It's going to make it so optimal for the rest of the weekend. Now, here's the raid for the Inferno. But before we actually enter the raid, we're just going to drop a save because we're all going to need to reset our game if we don't get the right partnering Pokemon. It's very important that we get the right partnering Pokemon with this raid. Now, when you're in this option here, choose challenge as a group. Don't choose challenge alone just yet. Challenge as a group. This will make sure that you get three random Pokemon now. Just click in, ready to go. The only thing I'd make sure of at this stage is that you, when you come into the raid, you aren't connected to the internet. Just make sure that you are offline when you're doing this. But by doing this strategy here that we're about to do, it means that we can lock in the three partnering Pokemon for the rest of the time when we're going into this raid with this strategy, meaning that we're going to be able to execute it pretty perfectly throughout the rest of the weekend while it's running or however long you keep it in your game. So big thing that we're looking out for is no physical attackers on our side of the field. There are seven Pokemon, I believe, that are all primarily special attackers that we're looking for. Now, the Staraptor, Gorganical, they fall into the physical realm, so we are going to have to run. But unfortunately, when you use this option to come into the raid, you can't run from the raid. This is why we save the game. So what we're going to do is just quickly reset, then come back into the game and do the whole process once again. So here we are back into the game. We use that challenge as a group, making sure we are offline. Just jump straight into it, ready to go and start the raid battle. Now, the Pokemon that we're looking for are Bellybolt, Umbrian, Driftlim, God of War, Sylveon, Arcanine, or Toxapex. Any one of those is going to be a perfect partnering Pokemon. Again, we've got a lot of physical attackers here, so it's no good. We just repeat this process until we get a selection of those Pokemon. Like I say, there is a bit of initial setup here, but it's all worth it in the long run. And there we go. We've got a nice combination here, finally, of three partner and Pokemon, all special attackers, able to let us execute this strategy. Turn one, one, we've got this set up. We're going to go with a Screech. That's going to lower the defense on the Inferno by two stages every time you use it. We're initially trying to get the down to minus six. So what we're trying to do, we've got to be quick with our button presses as well, because we are against the timer, of course. Leblitz, Aura Sphere, anything like that coming out from the Inferno is going to be fine. We're going to be able to tank everything pretty well. But for that, another Screech, it's going to take it down to minus four. Like I say, what we're trying to do is get it down to minus six. And then we're waiting for this turn where it steals some of our Terra Orb Charge. And then where it nullifies the stats and abilities on our side of the field. Now... After three screeches, we should be at the point where it is going to nullify our abilities and stats. This is the next turn. We do get lucky here with the paralysis. That can happen, though, if you get the right partnering Pokemon. And we're just going to hang off here and wait for this. Now, when we do see this sign, now it's time for us to get that belly drum off. What we're doing is waiting or trying to race before the shield gets set up. So we get all the setup done. We don't want the Infernip's health getting to 80%. We don't want the raid timer getting to 80%. And then once we've got this executed, we can launch off a close combat. And now without the shield, it's minus six defense and our plus six def attack. We can click close combat. And as you're going to see with that life orb boosted, it's going to be a one hit kill. Now that is going to be the quickest way for you to beat this Inferno of the weekend in Farm for Herba Mystica. And now because we've done that initial setup, we've got our three partnering Pokemon kind of solidified now. I'll show you exactly how you can guarantee getting them every time you go back into the raid. Look at that, four Herba Mysticas as well. That is a good drop there. So that's a nice one. Okay, so once the raid is finished, 
the den will disappear what we're going to do is respawn it on our map so we're going to open our map up we're going to hit our home menu we're going to come down to system settings then down into system you want to make sure when you go into time and date and time that the synchronized clock for the internet is off click into date and time just toggle through these options hit that okay and hit your home menu back into the game and all the dens will respawn you'll see we'll get another seven star terror raid on our map and all we can do is just head over to it now we're back at the den for our second run through. Now to guarantee we get the same partnering Pokemon this time around, what we want to do is we want to go with Challenge alone. This will lock in those three partnering Pokemon that we had from the last raid. And going forward, we just need to make sure that we are challenging alone. We are not using any other option going in and we'll guarantee those three partnering Pokemon. We can repeat the same process over and over again. The problem is with this strategy is if you have physical attackers, we can get the Infernip down to that 80% health pretty quickly and the shield will go up and it'll mean that it's not going to be easy to execute this strategy over and over again and because of how quick this is you kind of want to just put that initial work in at the start it'll only take you maybe 10-15 minutes to get the right selection of partnering Pokemon you can repeat the process over and over again until you have as much Herbamistic as you want like I say it is the quickest way it's five turns that's all it's going to take and you're going to, once you've locked in those partnering Pokemon, have such an easy time farming this Infernape over the weekend. It's probably going to be one of the best opportunities we've had for getting Herba Mystica. I guarantee you, just put that work in at the start. And it's going to be so easy. So it's like basically three screeches. If you miss, it does make things a little bit complicated. It's not going to change anything up though. But three screeches, we need to get the Infernape down to minus six. If you get the Paralysis throughout the raid, it's going to help you massively. If you've got the right partnering Pokemon, of course. And then we are waiting for the stats and abilities nullified on our side of the field. We went through this, but I'll show you once again how quick it can be. And within the space of like 10 minutes, we are basically getting ourselves uh, Herbamistica drops for free, basically. It's just a little bit of our time. You can see here, the raid time is still not at that 80% yet. And we have got those three screeches off. We've missed one screech as well. Hopefully we're in time to get the belly drum up. Get that plus six and then before that raid timer hits that 80 percent or the health hits 80 percent we can lock in with a close combat close this matchup and then just repeat the whole process once again and then arm um, as much herbomistic as we want are we gonna have time we have time we've got it so we've locked it in i think there we go close combat life all boosted one hit kill and even if you miss a screech like we have done there you're going to be able to execute this plan so it's as easy as that you're going to have a great time farming herbomistica over this weekend Hope you've enjoyed this strategy. If you have friends, please do consider dropping a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content. And let me know down in the comment section below if you've been using this strategy and farming Herb and Mystica. What's your best drops you've had over this weekend? Thanks for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.